I will be documenting my approach to this month's chain three problem called Single Cross 2 for August 2023. I'm assuming most of you watching this video have attempted the problem by yourself and are looking to my video for the solution. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing to consider is that our line segment D can be oriented in any, any way in 3D space. Our best tool for modeling this would be, would be to use spherical coordinates, which is like this, where D is the length, then we have sine theta times cosine phi, y equals d times sine theta times sine phi, and z is equal to d times cosine theta. Okay, so another thing we need to consider is that since we, we can use the fact that uh, we're looking at a cubic lattice, so uh, in this space we can, there's a, there's a symmetry about it, so we can restrict our theta from zero to pi by two because this is just the top of the hemisphere and then we can restrict phi from zero to also pi by two because that's just the first quadrant and now um, because of the symmetry we can we only need to consider one of the cases and the case I want to choose for this one is we don't cross the x, we don't cross the y, but we do cross the z. So how how do we how do we show that? So this is, this is how you do this. So we want x to be within zero to one. Same thing for y. And then we, since we want the, our line segment to cross on Z, it has to be between one and two. Okay, now, before, so one thing we need to get straight as well is since we're going from, since we're going from X, Y, Z to the spherical coordinates, we will need a Jacobian, which will help help, help us uh, switch between coordinate systems. And so this is D, D, D theta, D phi, something like that. And how do we how do we calculate our Jacobian? So basically, we just go like this. And and this is calculated for all all the x, y, and z's. And I believe if you do this, you will get sine theta. Okay, so now, now we can see the expectation of crossing only one of the planes, specifically the z, the z plane. So how, how do we do this? So we want to be from pi over 2 to 0 of not x, not y, only z times the Jacobian, which is sine theta, d theta, d phi. So how do we do this? We get 0, pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 0, So not x. What is that equal to? That's one. Just that's just one minus d sine theta cosine phi. Not y. Just one minus d 
sine theta sine phi and then only z would be ch -ch -ch d cosine theta times sine theta from the Jacobian. So it's this, this, all over Okay, and if you calculate this or use Wolfram Alpha to check your answer, you will see that you get this. Minus 16d plus 6 pi all over 12 pi. Now that we have a function seeing the uh now that we have a function showing the expected number of crosses as a function of d which is the line segment we can max we can find the maximum of this and see see where the max d lies so this is how we do it we just take the derivative pretty pretty basic stuff That equals zero. This is just nine d squared minus thirty-two d plus six pi. Equal to zero. Now we can just use we can we can just use the quadratic formula to get thirty-two plus or minus. 32 squared minus 9 times 6 times 4 times pi all over 18. And if I remember correctly, the correct answer is around 0 0.745. And this is our D. Obviously, you can calculate them more. I believe the question asked for ten significant, uh, ten significant digits. So you can just plug this in and see what it is. And so now that we have the associated length, now we can plug it back into right here to get the associated probability. And I believe if you plug it in, you get something along the lines of. 0 0.509, I think, something like that. And then you can calculate that to 10 digits. And that's pretty much the gist of the problem. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.